In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a script that evaluates the strength of passwords based on their composition and length. You'll see how to categorize passwords as weak, normal, or strong, providing valuable insights into their security levels. Let's dive in and empower your coding skills to enhance password security. The script prompts the user to input a password and reads it from the standard input. In Lua, IO Red, asterisk L, is used to read a line of text from the standard input, which typically represents the keyboard input. The asterisk L parameter specifies that it should read until the end of the line. This means that the user can input a sequence of characters until they press the Enter key, and Lua will capture that entire line as the input. This method is commonly used for reading user input that spans across multiple words or characters until the Enter key is pressed, making it suitable for capturing entire lines of text from the user. This block of code checks if the entered password meets the criteria of containing only letters and numbers. If the password is empty, nil, or contains any characters other than letters and numbers, it prompts the user to enter a valid password and terminates the script. The string on the first line is a pattern used in Lua's pattern matching system. Here's what it means. Caret anchors the pattern to the beginning of the string. Percent %w matches any alphanumeric character, letters, and numbers. Plus, matches one or more occurrences of the preceding pattern. Dollar anchors the pattern to the end of the string. Overall, this pattern ensures that the entire string consists of one or more alphanumeric characters, with no other characters allowed before or after. This pattern is commonly used in Lua programming. It can be used for various input validation tasks where you want to ensure that the input contains only alphanumeric characters. Some other potential uses include Username, file name, and URL validations. Also, input sanitization. And these are just a few examples, but the pattern can be adapted to various scenarios where such validation is required. The length of the password is used in further calculations to determine the total number of possible combinations of characters, which is crucial for evaluating the password strength and security level. The variable character set represents the total number of possible characters that can be used in the password. It includes upper and lower case letters meaning 26 plus 26 is equal to 52, and numbers from 0 to 9 meaning 10. Therefore, the total number of characters is 52 for letters, plus 10 for numbers, the total is 62 characters. This line calculates the total number of possible combinations of characters for the password based on the length of the password and the size of the character set. It raises the size of the character set to the power of the password length. This calculation represents the total number of unique combinations possible for the password. This next line calculates the strength of the password in terms of its entropy or unpredictability. 
It uses the logarithm function to compute the logarithm of the total number of combinations to the base 10. In simple terms, it determines how many bits of entropy the password possesses. Entropy measures the uncertainty or randomness of a password. A higher entropy value indicates a more unpredictable password, making it harder to guess or crack. Note. If you are using Lua version 5.3 or higher, then you can indeed simplify the calculation of strength by using MathLog10 function directly. These lines set thresholds to categorize the strength of the password into different security levels. Local weak threshold assigned to 20. This line defines a threshold value of 20. Any password with a strength below this value will be categorized as weak. Local strong threshold assigned to 40. This line defines a threshold value of 40. Any password with a strength equal to or greater than this value will be categorized as strong. These thresholds help in determining the security level of the password based on its calculated strength. Depending on where the strength value falls between these thresholds, the password will be categorized as weak, normal, or strong, providing a clear indication of its security level. Local Strength Category declares a variable to store the category of the password strength. If the strength is less than the weak threshold, it assigns the category weak to strength category. If not, it proceeds to the LCF statement. The LCF statement checks if the strength value is strictly less than the strong threshold. If the strength is less than the strong threshold, but not less than the weak threshold, it assigns the category normal to strength category. If not, it proceeds to the else block. The else block is executed only if the strength value is strictly greater than the strong threshold. In this case, it assigns the category strong to strength category. This block of code effectively categorizes the password strength into weak, normal, or strong based on the calculated strength value and the predefined thresholds, providing a clear indication of its security level. This line prints the estimated number of bits of entropy for the password. It concatenates the string estimated numbers of bits of entropy with the value of the variable strength, which represents the strength of the password in terms of bits of entropy, and prints the result. The last line prints the password security level based on the categorized strength. It concatenates the string password security level with the value of the variable strength category, which represents the security level of the password, and prints the result. The print functions provide additional information to the user about the strength and security level of the password, helping them understand the assessment made by the script.
In this tutorial, we've explored how to create a Lua script to assess the strength of passwords. By analyzing the composition and length of passwords, we categorize them into weak, normal, or strong security levels, providing valuable insights into their vulnerability to brute force attacks. Through this tutorial, you've gained the knowledge to enhance password security in your applications, ultimately contributing to better protection of sensitive information. Keep practicing and exploring further to strengthen your skills in Lua programming and cybersecurity.